Hey guys, quick warning before the video starts, the first few minutes of this episode is old footage. It was recorded between the April to May period of 2023, right before I took a break from the game. And that makes it about 5-6 to six months old, so if you want to skip ahead, no problem, I get it. I'll put a timestamp in the description of where the current footage starts. I was just going to delete it, but for continuity's sake, I'll throw it in there. You can hear it in my voice that I'm kind of getting fed up with the game before um, I end up taking a break. So I think that's funny. I'll throw it in there. If you want to skip ahead though, no problem, whatever. I'm back on the game. The expansion is great. Good job, New World devs. Let's keep the consistent updates coming and the player numbers high, all right? Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to episode 88 of the New World Iron Man series. In the last episode, we completed the Easter event, got our cursed storage chest of the hair, then we headed over to Outpost Rush, did a few unboxings there, and ended with some mutated dynasty Finally getting to test out this best in slot corrupted bane bow we got from a regular Empyrean Forge I believe on day one of season one release and it is a ton of fun You really feel that bane buff when you're doing a uh, PvE with this bow now some of my light attacks on Empress Zhao were hitting almost 10,000 damage so it is quite an addictive bow to use but we have to move on, there's other things to test with the season release. At the end of last episode from the mutated dynasties that we did, we did land this BIS or near uh, best in slot Ice Gauntlet PvE ring with Int, Con, Refreshing Evasion, Hardy, and Ice Damage. And I'm looking to put this to use somewhere in this episode. Hopefully, well, actually we're probably not going to be doing any mutated barnacles and black powder because I think it just came off rotation yesterday. And this is day one of this week's mutation, which is Dynasty in Depth. So I really don't like when they do this. They give you two corrupted mutations for the week. I would like some variety. I think there's enough dungeons in the game where we can justify at least three mutations per week. But ideally, have them all mutated. Let us pick what dungeons we want to do. And if there's not enough players for that on the server... Well, then you guys need to, you know, merge or just make bigger servers. That's just my opinion, though. Um, some some content in this game is player gated. Like the other day, I had to wait two and a half hours to get into an outpost rush. I, I'm not complaining. Anyway, welcome back to the episode. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh hell yeah! Ended on a flame core too. We're up to 48. I do believe we need. Oh, inventory was bugged there for a second. I do believe we need 65 to fully upgrade this flame tornado heart rune. As long as I do my Atalus's Foundry Elite Chest Run every day, I think we'll be just fine. This is by far the most stress-free way to get these flame cores. Getting them as a drop from humans is a pita. Hello, we got our first legendary champions piece of equipment, a champion's great axe of the soldier on track 24. Let's check out the other pieces first. Ward resilient on medium, not the best, but decent trash and absolute dog water. You know what they need to do is give these champion items the ability to roll attunement because that is the PvP perk. It's like I'm not even gonna buy it, man. How sad is that? My first legendary champions piece of gear, and I'm not even gonna buy it. But we're saving up some outpost rush crack caches. That's hard to say when you're sleepy. Outpost rush caches we're gonna open these up tomorrow i'm probably gonna try to get i don't know 10 15 oh my god the mad lads they finally did it did you see that i got an aura calcum cartridge from that tiny supply cache it took them years but they finally removed iron cartridges and added aura calcum for level 60 zones um kind of lame it's only one but i guess that's all you need if you're playing outpost rush right but which by the way we are up to a whopping 13 caches, so opening coming soon. Just hitting my daily adder run for the flame cores, and if you can't hear it, I am extremely sick, but it is what it is. I wasn't paying attention, I missed it, but we just barely hit level 20 on the rapier. I've been playing this account for like over a year, and now that the rapier is moving more into the DPS meta, no surprise we got it to level 20. Although I do think I should have got this level 20 considering I have hundreds of hours of it in Outpost Rush, but you just don't get any weapon XP in Outpost Rush, so I guess we'll put it on here, sure. That's probably more cooldown overall than priority, so we'll take that, but I'm almost finished up with Atalus's Foundry for the day, and I believe we're at 72 flame cores, so that's all we need for the Heart Rune. Okay, now we're at 72 flame cores, so that's all we need for the Heart Rune. We're actually completely done with flame cores other than the Season Pass thing which I don't really plan on doing on this account. 
Everyone is getting whooped. Hold on. Let me play this a little more safe. I, I should have saved my repose for my detonate. That was actually a pretty rookie mistake. Anyway, yeah, we're all- No way! What finished me? He was about to die. That's so lame. On the bright side, it looks like we've just landed a Champion's Fire Staff of the Scholar in Legendary. Our first Champion's Fire Staff. Let's see if it's any decent. It's decent. Oh, it's actually very decent. Keen, Vicious, and Empowering Incinerate. There are perk rebalances coming, so Incinerate could become good again. It was very good when it used to hit twice. I don't know why they changed it to now be Empowering. I don't even know if it's necessarily a bad perk i just really preferred when it hit twice we're definitely gonna pick this up has a very cool skin on it as well uh let's check that out really quick sneak peek i haven't showed this to you guys in a while i've been gaming pretty hard okay we're up to 64 outpost rush caches so i've been playing outpost rush pretty much whenever i'm on this game but that is a damn nice fire staff oh just the skin of it they really killed it with these champion skins just not so much with the perks you can get on them. Like I said before, you really should be able to get attunement on these champion weapons. They are champion weapons. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I didn't think I'd be recording this today, but I guess here we are. That last clip you saw was recorded on May 2nd of 2023. And I'm sure you can tell just by the sheer amount of people around me, and I guess the fact that everyone is level 65, that yes, it is post-update. It's currently October 10th of 2023, meaning I've taken about a five-month break from this game. And it's weird, because with the game currently in such a good state right now, I mean, I've been keeping an, an eye on the player account every day since the update, and it's been peaking consistently at about 60k players per day. That's insane from where it was before the update, peaking somewhere between like 10k and 15k players. I mean, really good job, New World devs. This game has had such a big comeback, and there's plenty of new people on the server. We got people riding mounts through Windsor, it feels like a completely different game. And even though there's a ton of new people on this server, I still remember a lot of the people like Shopiala, Cuba, just because I remember you doesn't mean I know how to say your name. But I've seen a lot of familiar faces here in Windsward. Just, I've been on the game, I don't know, 20 minutes. And it's nice to see new people and old people. It feels like everyone's back on the game right now. So I now, so I figured now would be a pretty good time to start back up the series. And a quick personal update, since I've had so many comments from you guys. Uh, some pretty heartfelt comments and a lot of you expressing grave concern if I was dead or not. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide if I'm dead or not, but a quick personal update. I have been pretty busy these past five and a half months. I moved out of state with my girlfriend. We moved from California to Oregon, and we absolutely love it. It is beautiful up here, and I've enrolled back in college. So yeah, I have not as much free time to make videos on this game, but the update looks so good. It was only 30 bucks, and I know a lot of you have been waiting on a video for me that never arrived so i'm sorry about that and we're gonna get this series to episode 100 that was a goal of mine from day one and we're not that far away the uploads maybe won't be every three days i have to be honest with you guys but i'll see what i can do without getting burned out if that makes sense because and you know in case anyone new to the channel is watching this is still an iron man account I moved all my funds on it to my treasury before I quit. 750k coins in the treasury. I uh, have 40k coins on me. And, well, I, I moved my coins to the treasury, I figured I should clarify, because they converted Umber Shards to coins, and I wasn't sure if that was going to go straight into my coin pouch, or what actually had happened is they're still in my storage shed. I have to pull them out and convert them to coins. But I think we have about another 500k coins in pure Umber Shards in my storage shed. I'm, no we don't. I don't remember the conversion ratio, I think it was 10 Umbral Shards is one coin, if that's the case, maybe we have like 120k coins, because I had a little over 1 million shards I believe. But in the days leading up to me taking a break from this game, all I was doing, I wasn't recording at the time, but I was just farming the Surgeon for these Ancient Mandible Shards, and you can see I quit 7 kills before we landed our third Ancient Mandible for the major Ancient Bane trophies. Uh, yeah, we're actually seven. I don't remember being seven kills off, but okay, I guess we'll, we'll go finish those. First order of business coming back to the game. I'm sorry that it took so long. Oh, 
Oh, I thought that said lag detected. That's trading post hustle. It has been pretty laggy with all the people back on the game, but I'm not complaining. I'd rather have terrible servers and people to do chest runs and dungeons with than me and the same three people struggling to find a fifth for our, for our M10s, or I guess M3s now as they're called. Yeah, one of the most exciting things coming back to this game, because if you were an old viewer of mine, I was complaining non-stop about how my inventory was always full. And now there's something we get to do that I've been wanting to do for so long. Scrap every piece of gear on this account. All of my storage sheds are just full with legendary gear that is finally obsolete. I mean, we get to completely start over with gear on this account. Some people are, you know, gutted about that. I could not be happier. This storage shed isn't so bad, but there's still a lot in every storage shed. Maybe I'll keep a luck set. Oh my god, wait. No, this, this storage shed is just recipes. I remember now why I was so upset about storage on this game before I quit. God, it is miserable. You'd think with the update that we could get like a book to hold all of our music pages. Like, how tough of a concept is a music book? You can hold all of your sheet music in it. Revolutionary concept. Hire me, Amazon. But yeah, I'm looking forward just to getting rid of all of this stuff. And so I think that's what we'll start with. Well, I'll start off by unlocking all of this. Maybe doing a time lapse or just showing you the end result of scrapping a little over 5,000 hours worth of gear uh, gathering. I have about 5,700 hours on this account and a lot of that is about to go up in smoke. Also, a lot of the craft mods were removed and they replaced them. Well, that was actually not one of them. Here, this item has been de this item has been deprecated and can be salvaged into other craft mods. So I have a lot of these dead craft mods sitting around and you can convert them into Iron Guardsmen insignias or... Oh, I thought they removed these as well. These aren't... Tr oh, these are bind on pickup now. Okay. That makes a lot of sense because I was looking for these on my other account to check the price of them. I do play two accounts, but I only record on this one. And they weren't showing up on the trading post. So that explains that. These are bind on pickup now. That's strange. But yeah, a lot to get through. We're going to start off by scrapping gear. No, we're not starting off by scrapping gear. I have brain rot. I said we were going to finish those ancient mandible shards. We're going to do that first. Am I even running the right way? Yes, I am. My ping is still there. How long ago was that? My ping stayed there almost five months. How crazy is that? That's actually so cool to see. I, I swear I placed that ping in May. It's October. All right, let's go finish off those uh, seven ancient mandible shards real quick. Ooh, a 700 gear score bag. How much better is that than my bags? Let's see. 410 weight, 105 extra pockets. See, let's view our bags. This new UI system is really cool, by the way. It helps reduce clutter a lot. So, it's like, I don't know, 70, no, 85 better in the weight category, and 100 and, or 15 better on the extra pockets. It was 105 extra pockets, right? That's not that much better for a 700 gear score bag. I can only imagine how hard those are to make. Anyway, here is our final ancient mandible component that we're going to need from this surgeon. It's funny, this guy Breadbeard, I said that right, right? Yeah, Breadbeard, he just showed up, invited me to a group, and unfortunately for him, that is my last kill. All 300 ancient mandible shards, and our first goal coming back to the game is officially checked off. We can go make the three major ancient combat trophies, though I don't know if I'll make them right now. It is nice to get the combat trophies out of the way, but I am just itching to, sc to scrap those items in my storage shed so we're gonna go combine these shards and then we are going to start scrapping just get rid of everything god let me breathe again well my game crashed about three times trying to get here but we finally made it to the workshop luckily it's a tier five let's go ahead and make these ancient mandibles after five months of these shards sitting in my inventory it feels great to have them out of here your whole bar lights up when you get like 500 xp i thought i leveled up what the hell is that? It looks like we're on a 3 times XP multiplier. I'm assuming that's because I haven't played in forever, but hopefully that lasts for a while. And hopefully I can get 65 tonight, because that would be sweet. I think our only other major combat trophies is one human idol we got luckily as a drop. Now, we also have the three major angry earthbane combat trophies. I know for a fact I had those on this account. And that is it so far. So I'll make these some point in time, but for right now, it is time to get scrap. And you know, I promised myself I wouldn't cry when it came time to scrap gear, but some items on this game I just have a connection with, and I'm so sad to see them go. This Stormbound Buckler with Vicious as the random third perk. Technically, it's the fourth perk now because they added, I guess, shield-specific perks like shield aggression for round shield, so on and so forth. 
But this buckler took me weeks to get, grinding M10 Starstone at the time. And this Shadow's Edge took me weeks to get as well, running Brimstone Sand chest runs. This Infernus, I have a video detailing my grind for this. It took me, what was it, 21 hours of farming the boss to finally get it. I have a Best in Slot Angry Earthbane Spear, Best in Slot Lost Bane Spear from the Barnacles mutation I believe this is from. Ah, oh, so many good memories, but it is definitely time for it all to go. How sad. I'm going to keep my a life staff though, and I guess this set of gear because it has luck and health on it. And I already pre-slotted pearls, so I don't have to go fish any oysters. That's really nice to see. I'm probably going to heal to farm all of my um, new sets of gear because healing, gear score, your gear score doesn't really matter that much for healing. And healing is the one class that I want to try the most out of all the new updates. It looks like healers got the biggest shakeup. We have that new perk, Savior, where when you heal someone below 50% health, uh, I think your heals are 20% more powerful. I don't know if that perk pull overlaps with Refreshing Move or Blessed, but a Blessed Refreshing Move and Save Your Life staff would be insane. That's going to be one thing I'm going for, for sure. We're going to keep the Cleric's Walking Staff, and this is going to carry us to our new set of gear, and everything else is going to go. I do have to be careful with my gear sets, though. I don't want to scrap my Tanner shirt or my Stone Cutting uh, goggles. I believe everything that's important is locked. I know in my gear sets I have my smelter set and my woodworker set so we don't have to worry about that. But as long as I'm careful we should be okay because if I scrap something on accident like weaver gloves or something like that I'm going to cry. Oh it's finally done. I think I- how many items did I scrap? Let's see we're at 986 dark matter. 698 infused armor fragments and 134 infused jewelry fragments dude that took like two hours i feel like i just did a full body workout oh what a miserable experience i don't know why my old self locked every single item that i got as a drop it's like they're not going anywhere dude i swear i was unlocking items for at least 30 minutes i i'd had one oopsie i scrapped my arcana earrings i had the plus five Arcana crafting boost. I just thought they were regular purple earrings, but they actually were a pair of earrings with a uh, carnelian in them that I crafted myself and accidentally scrapped. But other than that, I think we're good. Well, I also scrapped one piece of a harbinger set that I wanted to keep for transmog, and it took me, you know, multiple, multiple hours to get it, but it's not that serious. It was just a minor oopsie, and this tanner shirt goes in here. Man, I have storage. I can't believe it. Like, my storage is still kind of... Oh, actually, that's one more thing I need to go... I need to get through all of these deprecated craft mods, but after that, we are good. We have storage capacity. I think I'm going to be able to play the game tonight. That took... Seriously, took like two hours to scrap all that gear. I am happy it's gone, though. Feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder, even though there's still a lot of junk in here. Oh, Umbral Shards! Oh, brother, should we... I hope there's a way to convert all of these into coins at once. Let me see. Salvage. Nope. Yeah, it's it's, it's a 10 to 1. Oh, man. All right, let me get through these really quick. We're starting at, I guess, 47k. And we ended on 156k. I honestly just said the number that we started that, but I completely forget it. My head feels like TV static after scrapping all of those items. But it, at least the Umbral Shards were convenient. You could just hold Control c and just spam click. But man, when you're scrapping a Legendary, Control c click, click yes, let go. Control c click, <laughs> click yes, let go. Ugh, miserable. And lastly, we're going to crack open all of the removed craft mods, which we seem to have quite a bit of. Apparently, I had 591 draught of withered essence. Drop of withered essence again. Oh, draught and draught. Yeah, great naming system. Vial of withered essence, 575 of those. Man, we had a lot of useless craft mods. I'm very happy to see them go. Let's, uh, I guess I'll scrap from the bottom up because it's kind of weird. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, I think that's all of them. Wow. You know, this looks incredible, and it is only because it freed up so much inventory space, but they're still useless. I mean, the crafting meta is all but dead, isn't it? Not all but dead. It is dead. It's none but dead. <laughs> 
Like, I, I'm pretty sure most of the gear you get that's worth something now is obtained as a drop, which is like a complete 180 from the way it was before this expansion. And honestly, it's the, it's the method I prefer, but it just sucks for people who are holding these. Like, these have to be worthless by now. That is a lot of stat craft mods that I just added to my account. Well, it looks like we just got our first artifact on the account. It's the legs that I think is a guaranteed quest reward. Plus, no, that's, a, that's gotta be a bug. I remember it was plus 50 on the PTR. I did do some messing around. I, that has to be a visual bug. Plus 90 magnify? I don't think so. But these are actually some really sweet pants, but everyone has them, so they can't be that sweet, right? Either way, that's our first artifact on the account. Also, we got this from questing. The Magistrate's Cloak, I don't know if this is guaranteed or if I got it. I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but it's pretty nice. Has magnified, you know, mid 600 gear score, nature harnessing, refreshing, and health. Definitely an upgrade from what I was rocking before. I don't think I can wear these without going to medium. No, I can't. Yeah, I'll just leave them off for now. It's not that big of a deal. We're almost level 65, dude. We're like 64 and a half, and I've only been questing for like three hours. I would have actually had 65 last night if I didn't have to scrap gear for t two and a half hours. It's kind of silly. We waited a year. No, we waited over two years for a level cap raise, and then when it finally comes, you can hit the new cap in just a few hours of questing. Seems a little silly, but I get it. Everyone wants, just wants to hit the max level and go back to PvE, or PvP, or whatever it is you do on this game. Alright, just picking up a mount really quick, and I don't think I'm gonna level it up. Is this mount XP? Oh, riding. That's a new trade skill, isn't it? Didn't even notice that. Let's check it out. Yes, yes it is. No way 6,000 XP got me, like, a sixth of the way to level 2. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna level riding, guys. I have the mount in case I need it for a quest or something, like to make a specific jump. But let's be real, fast travel is free on this game. I can go anywhere I want for zero Azoth. I don't really need a mount. Yo, a aquatic mounts would have been really cool, though. Or flying mounts? Hmm? I think this is it. We should be getting level 65 here. Yes, sir. The new max level's been unlocked. I guess we can actually wear our 700 gear now. Is this level 65 locked? It is, we couldn't even wear it before. Well, that's all the leveling we're gonna do for the next two years. Probably. Oh, this is a dodgy jump. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, dude, just jump it. All right, fuck it, dude. You lied! That's the wrong that jump. That wasn't that's even the, close! That's, that's the wrong jump. Uh, they just dropped small traveler stones. Oh, don't, don't zap me. I'd like to have stamina for the rest of the day. Like luck, <laughs> like luck. Hey. It's been a few years. I get a Let's see, I gotta go in and blow my load. Hold on, pause. No. Tango hey. Vine shoes, let's see. Oh, they always come with physical version and dress conditioning. Well, we got our first 700 gear score drop on the account and it's a spear. The Tango Vine spear and it's gotta roll with Plague Strikes and Keen by default, right? No way Desperate and Power is a default perk, but we got Desperate and Power. Probably one of the worst new perks. It's just not good, is it? <laughs> but I'll keep it just for the gear score, because I think you need five, no, 695 or 698 or something to get into M3s, which is the new M10s. So a gear score is king, uh, at least for me right now. I'm rocking a 620 setup. Oh, we got it, guys. Oh my god. Hold on, let me make sure that I'm even recording, because my clips have been... Yeah, I'm, I'm recording. Okay, thank god. You know, that was actually really lucky to get that, because I was starting to lose hope. This boss is finicky. There's actually a strategy you can do to grief other players so they can't get any loot here. Not only does it have an extremely slow spawn, but the method is he spawns on this island over here, and for some reason no one knows how to open this bridge right now, or very few people do. It has been open today, but like once every hour. So we just hit it and have him jump over here, but it's bugged currently where if you keep shooting him he won't jump he'll just stand there so obviously if you get the kill when he's over there no one really has this bridge unlocked so you just have to watch your loot disappear and it's a really easy way to grief players out of getting the life taker and people were getting pretty heated here all day and the kills per hour were like cut in half and i was not even sure if i was gonna be able to get this because there was a lot of griefers here all day but that was pretty lucky let me pick up all this loot and get out of here don't even think we got loot from that last one, no. But that is probably one of the best artifacts for us. It has to be the best healing offhand, right? It even applies disintegrate to your life staff light attacks. Yeah, the plus 38 magnify as well. Can't go wrong with that. Finally, we're fully into focus with our, I guess, 
Uh, work in progress, new set of gear. I don't know what I'm gonna go work on next, but I do desperately need to get out of here. My computer is going to crash. I have not seen this many people on a chest run in pro probably since the game came out. Yeah, I oh, I got, I got a reward, did you? I hit one thing. Come on, let me get the one and done. Ah, oh, like, dude, look at this. I haven't seen Arc Magister Vokas this alive ever. Like, not even at the start of the game. All for a horse charm? There is no way this many people are here on a Thursday night for a horse charm. This shit looks like Big Five on Black Friday! Oh, she is? How do you know she's here? I don't see anyone. Mark Magister's a little taller than 4 foot 8. Oh, oh I, okay, okay. Oh god, this is... Oh, I think I DC'd. Hello? Oh, she was doing the stanky leg. I definitely did not get credit for that. Ew, hey, there's no way. I just got a pure resin from that chest, bro. Really? That's, that's hilarious. That's not hilarious. That's like my eighth one. Whoa, that's a lot. What the hell is infused spore jelly? <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. Um, that's actually decent. Um, I'll check what that infused spore jelly is, but we also got a golden scarab. That was crazy. There's no way I just got the gin head wrap. Why is that so common? It's not very good though, is it? Legendary spore light gloves and a legendary life staff of the sage from that. Oh, these are good. Oh, 695. These are good. Oh, those are perfect healing gloves. They have physical aversion, refreshing, and health. You know what? After this chest run, I'm getting all my trade skills to 205 because this is ridiculous. Nobody can take them because nobody's even putting in the 10 minutes to level up their trade skills. So it's just free. I mean, at least for the few first few weeks, it's going to be free and that's something I really need to do. So I have um, all of Brimstone ECR after Imperial and then I'm just going to bite the bullet and go level my harvesting skills. And by bite the bullet, I mean go have fun because that really is one of the best parts of this game. Well, Brimstone Sands chest run completed for the day and I gotta say I'm really loving the system where you get more of the items that you're wearing. My highest attribute is focus, so almost every piece of gear and weapon that I got was of the sage, focus related, and I mostly got life staffs and void gauntlets for my weapons, and we got some pretty good drops. Nothing really in terms of weapons. A nice little 698 keen vicious and keenly jagged void gauntlet. Uh, yeah, nothing worth mentioning, but the gear. The gear is where we got pretty freaking lucky. I think I already showed you these gloves, and we got two killer pairs of pants. These, and the ones that I'm wearing. We have Enchanted Ward, Thrust Conditioning, and Shirking Energy, Light Legs with Focus. Those are pretty top tier. I just wish I had Health instead of Shirking Energy. That would have been a 3 out of 3 best in slot roll for me. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the ones that I'm currently wearing. Nature Harnessing, Thrust Conditioning, and Health. We're gonna run some OPR here, and then I'll probably harvest in between games. Um, but I have 73 OPR caches on me, but I noticed they say level 60. So I'm kind of depressed. I don't think these are going to give me level 65 gear. These might just be dead. And it might just be in my best interest to drop them, because opening them is going to take so long, and I don't think that I'll get anything out of it. Uh, well, that's not true. All gear scales up to 675 in Outpost Rush, so even if I get some trash items, as long as the perks are decent, I can still wear them for OPR. They will get bumped up to 675 gear score. So we'll do a few games of OPR. Um, see if the crates are different to begin with or maybe they will stack who knows and if not then maybe we'll crack these open At the start of next episode, of course It's really nice coming back to the game after five months of not playing and still having people remember you It's a great feeling But it is a little weird considering the one place that I remembered is outpost rush I built my entire new world series off of pve and the one place I remembered is pvp <sighs> Can't say I understand that but oh I just got a transmog purse token. That's good. Oh, really? Yeah, you only can use it on one thing, but it's all... I got a legendary keratin flail. Hold on, that has this could be really good. It has burdening smite on it. Oh, no, it doesn't. It, th oh, this is really, really, really good. I'll put it in area chat. Flail's not a good DPS weapon to begin with, but check it out. That's all damage right there. What'd you get? Uh, I will tell you in a second. Oh, oh my god, I got the freedom, the artifact legs. Oh, but I also got a really nice helmet. I can't take it. There's no... get the artifact. Yeah, okay, let me get the artifact. You almost caught me acting a fool. That's a nice helmet, though. Oh my god, that's a nice... I'm taking freedom. God damn it. Oh, I think I just trapped all these witches underneath the ground. Flipped piece of ground, and they all... All these lost hunters just got trapped under the mountain. Oh, did they die? I think they died. 
All right, well that is five Outpost Rush games completed, but before we crack these crates open, I'm actually hunting a blunderbuss right now. And like I said earlier, there's a system in place where the weapons you have equipped are the weapons you're more likely to get. And I don't have a blunderbuss on this account at all since I scrapped everything. So as silly as it sounds, we're just gonna craft one here, whichever one we have the materials for. Uh, I guess we have an Orichalcum blunderbuss, but I'm pretty sure I had a ton of materia if I did need uh, other resources. So we'll use petrified wood. Any blunderbuss will do. Let's just make an Orichalcum one, equip it, and then we'll crack open these five Outpost Rush caches, level 65. Attunement would be sweet. Let's see what we get. Nothing from that. Conqueror's Beacon. I wonder if I take off my, um, there's a blunderbuss. I wonder if I take off my secondary weapon if I have a much higher chance of getting my primary weapon. Yeah, we didn't get anything good there, did we? No, that's, that's actually kind of bad. It, shirking nature on a live staff. I swear they need to give this a secondary perk pull. It's ridiculous. Freedom, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that was literally all trash. Oh, that's so sad to see. Oh, well. Anyway, we'll continue in the next episode. I'm probably going to start next episode off by cracking open these 73 outpost rush caches. Like I said, the gear score doesn't matter that much. As long as I land a legendary with three decent perks, I can run it in OPR or 3v3s. It's still going to be 675 gear score. So come back, check it out. Check out my plans for next episode with the blunderbuss. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not that hard to tell what it is, but anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed it, comment if you're surprised that I'm not dead, and I will see you guys in the next upload, because I'm actually having a ton of fun right now, so see you then.